G'day everybody and welcome to Andrew's Art and Models. Today we are going to be having a kit review on the Hobby Boss 135 scale German VK4502 Hintern. There is another version of this kit called the Vaughan and, and it's a very similar vehicle. It's basically, this is the rear mounted turret. The Vaughan has a front mounted turret and those are the main differences. Otherwise they're fairly similar but we'll cover that kit a little bit later. So, a lot of you probably don't know a great deal about this vehicle. It's really um, quite surprising to me that there's a kit of this available, since it's really only sort of featured in World of Tanks. Uh, it is a historic vehicle. It was uh, certainly a projected vehicle. Apparently, there were a couple of prototypes of this made, one of which uh, may have seen action, but, you know, may possibly could have. Uh, I don't think that was ever confirmed, but anyway... Uh, so this is essentially uh, Porsche's uh, prototype for the uh, King Tiger competitor, essentially. So uh, when Henschel uh, did the VK4503, I think was the original designation of the King Tiger, uh, this was the Porsche prototype that was uh, competing against it. And you'll probably recognize this turret off the early King Tiger vehicles. Uh, they manufactured, uh, it's believed to be about 50 of these turrets, and that's how they ended up on the Henschel manufactured vehicles, uh, or the Henschel design vehicles. Uh, that's a story for another time. A lot of you have probably heard of that all before anyway. So, let's have a look at the kit. The box art is very simple. Uh, it's got a little bit of a blurb, the history of the vehicle there, uh, and it has some nice photo etch details in there. So... The first thing I thought of when I opened this kit, really, was uh, harking back to the E-Series vehicles by, uh, was it Trumpeter? Trumpeter, Trumpeter, yeah, Trumpeter, the E-Series. You would have seen my reviews on those. It's the first thing I thought of when I opened this, and I'll show you why. All right, so we have the paint scheme, which is the German grey. That is it. Um... You can really make up whatever paint scheme you want. These vehicles were never officially accepted anyway, so do whatever you want. Have some fun. Do it at a German grey. Do it whatever tricolour scheme you want, or you know, just enjoy it. Uh, but not just that reminded me of it, but these parts here. So we've got the photo etch grills, which is nice, and we have the uh, metal wire for the tow cables, which is also nice. But does that look familiar to anyone? Um, <laughs> it just looks like it's been plucked from a trump uh, the trumpeter kit and put in here. <laughs> so uh, I wonder if it's the same uh, printer that's making these. But yeah, there you go. So other than that, that's pretty much where the similarities uh, between the two kits end, really. Uh, this is a vastly different kit to the E-Series vehicles and the trumpeter kit. As you can see... Lots of parts, uh, lots of sprues, everything in here comes bagged uh, and with some uh, nice details on some of the more fragile pieces and we'll cover that. Uh, the instructions, a fairly straightforward build. The biggest difference you'll find externally with the, is with the suspension. So other than the you know overall shape of the vehicle, these uh, didn't have a torsion bar suspension, so no through the hull suspension. Uh, and that was designed to save uh, room in the finding compartment, I believe. So the suspension setup is a little bit different and the road wheels don't overlap like on the uh, King Tigers or the Henschel version of the King Tiger anyway. Uh, so just quickly going through the instructions, very simple, put together, nothing really too dramatic there for most of the whole simple, easy build. Uh, it's when you get to the next section you start to run into some of the uh, the more complex aspects. So... Once again, external, easy, photo etch, uh, your little metal wire there, all the little uh, accoutrement or whatever you pronounce it. <laughs> going on, the, I promise I'll never do that again. Uh, going on the uh, outside of the vehicle. The track links. So individual track links uh, come in three bags. Uh, yeah. Look, I know a lot of people like them. I've said enough about them. Uh, however, these are quite... Uh, well molded so it doesn't look like it's going to be really much clean up on these parts at all uh, which is nice to see so there's nothing worse than having a billion and one little parts that you have to modify and uh, neaten up so the detail on these is really good 
and uh, they've got that nice curve to them too which the the track system has on these vehicles i'll just go back to the box art and we'll show you that again uh, it's shown fairly nicely on there do do upside down all right so you can see the curve to the track there and that's probably to, as a guess that's probably to increase the surface area to help uh, distribute the weight but uh they've replicated that very very well on the tracks in the kit so uh the hull itself is in here and we'll just quickly take a quick look at that because we've covered uh, the hull in the instructions but uh that's all nicely molded it, well long story short everything in this kit is nice and molded so i was a little bit worried about having a hobby boss kit because i'd never actually really built this particular kit before and i was sort of going mm, i'm an i wasn't knowing exactly what to expect but uh, the molding is impeccable it is really really nicely detailed um i couldn't fault it to be honest really really good and you can see that simplified suspension system there uh, for this version no overlapping road wheels a few little injector pins on the underside that's pretty common uh yeah nice simple easy to do going back to the instructions for two seconds here's where it gets a little bit more complex so we have the turret section with an inner lining and you are provided with all the parts for the interior exterior detailing uh, so typical you know you got your cupola your hatches your viewport uh, so on and so forth telescopic port or whatever it is uh, on and on but here's where it sort of really starts to uh, get a bit more complex and I wasn't actually expecting this level of detail uh, on a kit because this is a very very reasonably priced kit it cost me uh, less than $60 Australian delivered, so that's probably around about you know, 45 US roughly. Um, so not a uh, expensive kit at all. Uh, the detail in here all looks fairly nice, fairly simple. Uh, the instructions, whilst they look complicated, they are easy to follow and the, the steps are well planned out, so it is nice. The only real failing I have about it is the color call outs and we'll cover that in a second but um, yeah the gun detail breech detail is all beautiful uh, and it's going to look very very nice once it's completed now originally this kit is uh, was purchased for a commission that I'll be doing and I wasn't going to be doing any interior detailing as far as I know and uh, I had planned to have the hatches closed, but I think I might have to have the hatches open on this turret of this. It's just, look at that. Lovely. So provided it builds up as good as it looks, uh, we are certainly going to be doing that uh, on a build video. But uh, yeah, VK4502 Hinton, interesting vehicle. The moulding of the kit, very, very nice. I'm not going to bore you with a lot of uh, you know, shots of the different sprues and everything because the, the moulding is just perfect. Uh, as I said, very little to no flash, if any flash. I haven't really found any. I'll, I'll always say little to no as opposed to none because uh, I'll always find something eventually. But a good inspection of these, I couldn't find anything to fault it. And these really is a lovely touch. Um, it is nice to see just a little bit of extra protection uh, for some of those more fragile parts. And we'll just open this up so you can have a look. Right. So that's the parts there and they've obviously decided that they're a little bit of a risk so they'll uh, look after those a bit better which is i'd much rather see the manufacturer do that and then as opposed to having to fix parts that have been broken uh, once again all these parts were all bagged so we're just taking them out uh, just to save a bit of time and noise during the video and we'll have a look at the parts in here as well so that's the uh, that's part of the um, mechanism for the breach so I believe that's the guard to stop the you know, operator from getting in the way of the recoil all that sort of jazz uh, but yeah very nicely done uh, I can't fault this really even the ammunition I mean the ammunition is single piece you sort of look at it and go well you know how good's that going to be but the, the seam lines on it are really negligible uh, Hobby Boss very well done uh, it looks like it is going to be an amazing kit and there's just some of the detail on the bottom of the turret there on the internal 
that we'll see it uh yeah this is i'm really looking forward to building this this is uh, going to be exciting uh the only upgrade that i've really done to the kit is i have purchased a uh, barrel set for it so i was able to find an aftermarket barrel set for it i believe it was arba i have to double check it it is uh, arriving in the mail and it's been held up due to covid but it's coming it's coming um yeah the barrel it's got a little bit of warping to it you could build that into a nice gun still you don't really need to do the aftermarket um gun i wouldn't think but uh we're going to do it anyway so i want it to, to look perfect but so there we have it that is the vk 4502 hinton uh nice little kit or not so little kit it's going to build up to be a uh, lovely model i believe and uh so we're going to have this one and we're going to have the vaughn as well so we're going to do the uh other version in the build in a build video as well but uh, I'm going to get started on this one tonight, so I wanted to uh, make sure we get the uh, kit review out of this uh, and out of the way, so you can have a look at it. Nice kit. Now, one thing it does, one last thing, one last, I promise this is the last thing. Um, and you take this with a grain of salt. I've read it before in a number of history books, essentially, on armoured vehicles. You see a lot of people talking about... Uh, the Porsche turret and the biggest failing was this lip here. So you have the curved front of the hull and, or the first curved front of the turret, sorry. And this part here was apparently quite excellent, and I could see why, for deflecting shots down into the hull. So on the King Tiger vehicles, on the first that they used on these, they really weren't um, happy with these turrets because that is exactly what would happen. A shot would come in here. It would go underneath. Now, it might not penetrate the tank, but it could certainly damage the traverse of the turret and the tank's out of action. So even though it may not hurt anyone in the crew, uh, it has knocked the tank out, so you have to take it back. Uh, it says in a number of references that I've read that you know that was going to be offset by the raised armour on the front. Now, so you can see the armour plate's got that little bit of a lip there. Um, personally, I just thought it was worth pointing out. I don't really see how that could make much of a difference. Okay, so it's going to cover up a little bit of that area there. Uh, if you're on, a, say, a reverse slope and you've got the turret pointed or the gun pointed down um, it, and the, the vehicle's angled, yep, yeah, all right, sure, that'll help. But if it's the other way, so say you're coming sort of down a hill and you've got your gun pointed more up, that armour is going to be down here. So... It's, yeah, I don't I don't really see how it makes a huge difference. But anyway, I just thought I'd point it out. Uh, yeah, VK4502, Hobby Boss, well done. Love this little kit. Uh, let's do the build of it and uh, see how we go. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so I'm a little bit rusty, but <laughs> I hope we get there in the end. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, share, tell a friend, send a carrier pigeon. Uh, whatever floats your boat and uh, stay tuned for the next one.